I've got a lot to say about politics, and we'll get to it in a moment. But first, the markets, Dow's up 100, Nasdaq's down 25. David Barnson is with us. First of all, David, you always come to us with dividend stocks. OK, but I want a big picture question. We've got an obviously rising interest rate situation. Why should I invest in stocks? Well, you have to compare it to something else. And so if interest rates are going higher, it sets a price level across all investment assets, not just stocks. I do think we need to stop thinking that a 10-year Treasury below 2% is a good thing. It's people saying we're not going to get any growth for 10 years. That's mm. not good. Economic stagnation is just as big of a problem as inflation. Ultimately, a 10-year that gets in the 2.5% range is still way less than its average. And the reason reason we've had such a low rate is people have not had confidence in growth since the financial crisis. We started getting it higher in 2017, 2018, COVID comes, and now here we are, very low expectations. So stocks, to me, give you the ability to outgrow what people are concerned about with stagnation, low bond yields. That's why I want good companies that grow cash flows. And, and dividends. Yeah, that's right. You brought us GlaxoSmithKline this morning. Yeah, I really am intrigued by this story. You have some big hedge funders that have been in there trying to be activists. It's paying a nice 5% yield, higher than most big pharma companies. Mm. They have an HIV group, a VAX group, but they have a lot of R&D in their pharmaceutical, and they're spinning off the consumer business. That's going to create a lot of value. We and like that, Glaxo. that 5% is safe. Very safe. And will probably grow. I believe it will, but it's not growing right now. It'll grow in the future. I think 5% looks pretty good in this environment, I'm sure you frankly. do. Uh, how about UMI? You've talked about this before. It's a pipeline company. Yep. What's it paying? So it's a series of pipeline companies actively managed and it's paying about 6.5%. So I know you like that one. That is growing, but it's a mix of these actively managed oil and gas pipelines. My theory here is there's a Russia-Ukraine story. Mm. They basically, Putin, if we put sanctions on them, has to threaten to cut off oil and gas to Europe. So the Biden administration's working the phones to call Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. and Qatar when, you know, Oklahoma and Texas can do the job just fine. Thank you very much. These pipelines are needed to get oil and gas around around our own country and to get uh, liquefied natural gas delivered to Europe. GlaxoSmithKline, 5%. UMI, 6.5%. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll take it. Thank All you very right. much indeed, David. Yes, All right.